Welcome to PJC's new student orientation. This orientation session will cover important information students need to know before starting classes at Paris Junior College. A PJC student ID card can be obtained by visiting the campus police office. This card allows students to attend PJC events such as basketball games, theater productions, and other activities free of charge. This ID card is also used to check out materials in the PJC library. Any vehicle parked on campus needs a parking permit. This permit can be obtained at the campus police office. A license plate number, the make and model of the vehicle are needed at the time of obtaining a parking permit. The student handbook is a guide to PJC policies and procedures. The student handbook can be found on the PJC website. Look under A to Z links for student handbook. PJC prohibits discrimination. Discrimination against a student is defined as conduct directed at a student on the basis of sex or gender that adversely affects the student. Reports of discrimination may be directed to the Title IX coordinator. Attending class is critical to educational success and expected by the faculty, especially the first day of class. On the first day of class, instructors will go over course guidelines, the course syllabus, and course expectations. Instructors plan each class meeting with expectations of all students being in attendance. There are deadlines to changing a student's schedule, whether it is adding or dropping a course. These dates can be found in the class schedule, course syllabus, or by contacting a student success coach. When deciding to drop a course, make sure to talk with the instructor or seek a tutor before giving up on the course. Students receiving financial aid must check with the financial aid office prior to dropping any courses. Paying for college is a student's responsibility. There are several ways to pay. PJC accepts cash, checks, credit cards, financial aid, and scholarships. Payment plans are also available. Contact the PJC business office for specific details on how to sign up for a payment plan. To assist with the enrollment process, students are assigned to a student success coach. Students can view their success coach's contact information in My PJC Portal on the PJC website. Choosing an educational path is important. Career pathways provide achievable milestones along the path to a desired career. Students enter college with a variety of goals and plans. PJC uses pathways to help students focus on a general industry or field. While at PJC, students may earn several levels of credentials that lead to entry-level jobs in the local workforce or prepare them for transfer to a university. PJC offers an Associate of Science and an Associate of Arts degree which are designed primarily for transfer to a university. Students selecting majors for transfer should consult with a student success coach to develop the pathway for their major that outlines the classes required in the core curriculum, as well as suggested specialization courses in their major field of interest. By visiting with a success coach on a regular basis, students make sure they are taking the correct courses that apply not only toward a PJC awarded associate's degree, but also transfer and apply to their intended baccalaureate degree. The Associate of Applied Science degree is awarded upon completion of a prescribed program of study designed to prepare students to enter and compete in the job market. The courses in this degree are designed to enable the graduate to enter an occupation with marketable skills, an acceptable level of technical competency, and the ability to communicate effectively. Certificate programs provide skills for immediate employment, career advancement, and relevant hands-on training. Although certificate programs are normally one year in length, the specific number of credit hours varies by program area. A course syllabus will outline important information about each course, such as objectives, a course description, textbook information, grading guidelines, assignment due dates, attendance policies, instructor contact information, and other important class information. 
The syllabus is usually handed out on the first day of class. Students can view important information online, like final grades and degree audit information, by accessing their MyPJC portal on the PJC website. Students can obtain instructions on how to navigate the portal by contacting their student success coach. Blackboard is the portal to access online courses. For more information about Blackboard and how to use it, watch the provided Blackboard demonstration. If additional assistance is needed, contact the help desk at 903-782-0496 or by email at helpdesk at parishjc.edu. There are different types of course delivery. An internet course is offered online only. A hybrid course combines both in-class and online delivery. ITV courses are offered through an interactive television portal. Students can interact with the instructor through the television and audio equipment. Students planning to take an online, internet, or hybrid course should be familiar with how to use a computer. Computers should be manufactured within the last five years, have a minimum of Windows 7, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a 250 gigabyte hard drive. In addition, some courses may also require flash drive, a webcam, PowerPoint, and Excel. Textbooks are required for almost every course. A list of textbooks can be found on the PJC Bookstore website or through the Institutional Textbook List or Course Syllabus. Students who receive financial aid are able to charge books and supplies to their financial aid account the week before classes begin. Financial aid is available and everyone is encouraged to apply. Federal aid can be applied for with the free application for federal student aid, sometimes called the FAFSA. State aid can be applied for through the College for All Texans website. The types of aid available are Federal Pell Grant, Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant, Federal Work Study, Texas Public Education Grant, Texas Grant, and Texas Equal Opportunity Grant. The earlier an application is submitted, the better chance of receiving the maximum award available beyond the Pell Grant. It is important to know that not attending class regularly can negatively affect your financial aid and that students on financial aid must maintain a 2.0 GPA. Students who apply for financial aid will receive an award letter. All financial aid awards must be accepted using Net Partner on the PJC's website's financial aid page. Financial aid is not finalized until this process has been completed. Scholarships are also available. The PJC scholarship application can be found at www.parisjc.edu slash scholarships. The Dragon Emergency Alert System is the system used to notify students of campus closings. Students receive notifications via text message or email when the campus locations are closed for inclement weather or an emergency situation. Several offices are available to assist students. The Admissions and Records Office accepts and processes admissions applications, resident status forms, bacterial meningitis documentation, transcripts, graduation applications, and enrollment verification forms. They also distribute official PJC transcripts and evaluate official college transcripts. The Financial Aid Office awards aid from grant money, monitors the usage of aid, and processes federal and state aid applications. The Business Office is responsible for receiving payments for tuition and fees and setting up payment plans. The Advising Office offers several student services for students. This office assists students needing accommodations in the classroom. Student success coaches assist students with course selection and program maps. Career advising 
assists students with career exploration. Students are also assisted with the transition to a four-year university. The Connect program is available to qualified students in need of textbooks and child care. The International Student Advisor is located in the Advising Office. A class schedule is full of information. The letters at the beginning of the course indicate the type of class. For example, Math 1314 is a class in mathematics. The numbers in the course tell more about the class. The first number indicates the level of the course. For example, in Biology 2301, the number 2 indicates that this is a sophomore level course. A number 1 would indicate a freshman level course. If a course begins with a zero, the course is a developmental course. The second number in the course displays the number of semester credit hours the course is worth. The time indicated on the class schedule is when the class begins. MW indicates the class meets on Mondays and Wednesdays. TR indicates Tuesdays and Thursdays. An R by itself indicates Thursday and an F indicates Friday. Students enrolled in an online course, the days and times will state internet. If the schedule states TBA or to be announced, make sure to check with the admissions records office or the advising office before classes begin to verify where the class meets. The last name of the course instructor is listed. If the schedule states staff, the instructor has not yet been assigned to the course. The class location is listed. The letters and numbers indicate the building the class is in and the room where the class meets. To be considered full-time, a student must be enrolled in 12 semester credit hours. In order to graduate in a timely manner, full-time students are strongly encouraged to enroll in 15 semester credit hours each semester. The Testing Center hosts exams for online courses and administers the TSI placement test. Students must provide a photo ID to take a test at the Testing Center and need to call ahead to schedule a test time. Tutoring is available free to all students on all three campuses. A writing center is located in the administration building and a math lab is located in the math science building on the Paris campus. Students are strongly encouraged to seek tutoring as early as possible. Residence halls are available on the Paris campus for full-time students. To live in student housing, students must provide proof of a bacterial meningitis vaccination and submit a deposit of $135, $100 for room, and $35 for background check. Cost may vary depending on the residence hall and meal plan selected.